wants to join us for work today. Hopefully you do. <laughs> Did a charity event last night, so Dylan's editing these photos quickly this morning before our shoot. That looks great. <laughs> then I'm gonna wear my cute little. <gasps> How cute! Taking my car today. Gotta pack it up. We got our all of the laptops and our gimbal. Some extra water and all of our stuff. Just set up and film this house quickly. It's beautiful in here. While Dill is doing some drone shots of the house, I'm gonna go ahead and show you our little setup here. Um, so this beautiful, beautiful item is called a pelican case. We honestly would just haul up all of our stuff around in a bunch of different bags before we got this thing, but this thing is amazing. So it like kind of rolls like a suitcase. It has a handle like there and it has wheels and you can roll it around. And then you can open it up. We got some inserts so we can separate everything. It's kind of messy right now because we just shot, so I'm gonna have to organize this in a second. And then these awesome little bags that hold up all of the little extra things. We love this. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to my sister who got this for us. Now I have just rearranged the office so that I can do an audition. Got my backdrop. <laughs> hair light that I just kind of stood up there and this light here I'm just gonna set my phone here I'm being really lazy about this but it's fine I'm feeling really good about the audition honestly um, and here are my sides <laughs> way to go Brooke as I was putting everything away um, I was just kind of like reflecting on the video that I had put up on my YouTube last time uh, talking about why I stopped acting. I really, 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 really think it was like vital for me to go through that period because during that period we had also built our company. My progress from then to now, even just acting in front of the camera, is, hold on, Dylan's calling me. My, I, I wasn't doing really any acting during that period, but since having the production company, I kind of like really understand a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And I understood a little bit before, but now it's like, I completely understand it. So I'm actually so much more comfortable in front of the camera. and. I always felt like I couldn't give my best or like show who I was when I was doing virtual auditions previously, but now like it's like night and day how contrasted some of my old auditions on camera to my new auditions, maybe even in person. I haven't had an in-person audition yet since I started doing acting again, but like I can tell the difference about how natural how much more natural and like how much more I can bring my personality out and just feel really comfortable. Like during my schooling and stuff that all my teachers would always tell me how, what a good actor I was, but like personally, I could tell that I wasn't fully there. And I just feel now that I've gone through that period where I was very much on the back end side of it. I am so comfortable now. <laughs> it's like insane how comfortable I am. And I'm like not overthinking it either. I'm just like doing it sh and then just like sending it. And I'm not like overcomplicating it in my head or anything. So I don't know. I just think that that was really vital for me to go through that period of nothing, um, really not acting at all and just doing all the back end stuff um, for me to even be in a place where I can feel so comfortable in front of the camera. It's like 
really, really nice feeling. And I guess part of that has to do with it, not, not everything riding on that. Like my whole lifestyle isn't riding on this one audition. Like I, I guess that has a lot to do with it too. Just wanted to share how I was feeling about it. Um, but he finished up those photos for the charity event while I was doing my audition. And now we're going to the gym. Um, so I'm about to get ready for that. <laughs> chocolate back there. <laughs> no, we don't have chocolate, we have juice. Yeah, we are healthy. We're healthy. healthy. <laughs> people's apparently yay <laughs> i just heard the cops talking to somebody saying that so far nothing's been stolen from any of the cars here um but i mean obviously rummaged through and they're so stupid like <laughs> literally like i don't really keep anything in my car but i forgot that this was in here it's like a little jewelry box and it has like some jewelry in it and stuff and like literally they didn't steal anything they're so so dumb they just got it's just like an inconvenience there's just glass everywhere <laughs> and i just feel like like there's no use in locking my car no weird strange strange and weird <laughs> sweeping the glass away so i can drive and park in the garage because my window is just all open to the world now and we're gonna leave that there because you know what this is the second time that something has happened in these apartments first time to me but when we first moved in, one of the girlies has like a friend who's a cop and the cop told her that somebody's car got stolen out of this garage when we first moved in. So, fuck this place, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Some angel man just came out of nowhere and gave us these glasses to look at the eclipse with. We're taking photos of it. Okay, I gotta catch you up to speed because so many things just happened. <laughs> At the gym, get a call from the neighbor. Our car, my car got broken into. And then we had to clean the, like move the glass, park my car in the garage. Literally could not even really even look at my car. So I don't know if it's like if there's any scratches on it or anything i just vacuumed the glass out of the front seat so i could drive it down to the car or to the garage um then we had to pack up the truck and head out because or pack up the truck get ready leave because we're shooting a wedding today <laughs> we picked up some food got some pictures of the solar eclipse while we were picking up food um and now we're on our way to the wedding so that's what's happened so far. How are you feeling? He doesn't know how to feel. I don't think I really know how to feel right now. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. We are here. Dylan just had to hop out and get a thing of the venue, but we made it. Barely. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Barely. Just dropped my car off at BMW. Um, it is going to be a good chunk of money for the window, the tent, the labor. I asked them to clean my car um, and uh, 
I have a service tomorrow anyway, so I just left it there. And they were able to order the glass from Dallas so they can get it there for tomorrow during my service. So they'll get it all done tomorrow, which is really nice. Out of pocket, I'm paying about 1,640, uh, which my insurance doesn't let me go through BMW. They only let me go through certain people. So I'd rather get it done, you know, right and just all at once. So just drop it off to get it done and that's how much that's gonna cost. We have a lot of admin work to do today. So we've just been kind of at home doing that stuff, dealing with the car. Um, we had to go to FedEx or something. So that's kind of like the bulk of what we've been doing today. And it's really not super interesting stuff. Just inputting some contractor information and paying people and all sorts of fun business things and edit and edit end of the day have some rollover stuff to get take care of tomorrow i'm gonna go to the gym and do a little self-care and then have some dinner and go to sleep i'm tired i'm so tired i'm done today i'm over it See you next time on the adventures of me. Okay, bye. Seriously, bye. <laughs>